maybe you guys can help me out with this one. I got a flip-flop circuit that's neatly packaged into this uh, integrated chip right over here. It's an uh, NTE, I don't know if you can see it there, 7473. Basically, it's uh, supposed to toggle your output depending on how you connect it. There's different options, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have this output toggle. And as you can see, this blue wire, I'm going to use as a clock, pulse, or a switch. Basically, um, as I disconnect it and connect it or engage, you can see a toggling effect on the light emitting dials. The problem is, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's not steady. There's a randomness to this toggling, and I would like for it to work as a steady or a steady state, non-random toggling. Now maybe that's the way that they designed this thing, but or maybe I didn't connect it properly. So maybe you guys can help me with that. Anyway, so let me show you what I did. <clears throat> so here's the diagram. Now this is a different manufacturer, but it's still the same circuit design layout. And if we look at here, I'm only using half of the IC chip. There's actually two flip-flop circuits here. So I'm using this side here. Basically there's a power, a ground. So as you can see here, I got my power. And I got my ground over here. <clears throat> um, we have a clock input, a clear. We have a J, K, and then we have the outputs, which is Q, not Q1 and Q1. Now, there's different configurations on how to connect this, as the functions table shows us. But if we look down here, I, I want to reach this toggle state. So basically, it's telling me, uh, make sure that the clear has, it's on a high. Make sure you have a pulse. Make sure you have the J and the K is connected. So basically what I did, I connected the J, the K, and the clear on a high. So we can see here J, K, and the uh, clear, the reset, all connected to the output. And um, it should toggle according to this. So basically, the only difference that I see here is... The clock, it's pulsing. Well, I'm using the negative potential here for it to pulse. Instead of the positive potential, positive potential does nothing whatsoever. I don't know if that's because uh, this only functions on the trailing edge of the pulse. Uh, anyways, uh, maybe you guys can help me out with that. I really appreciate it. Please feel free uh, to comment and uh, post any information. Thank you.